be out here at the lot. I'm going to keep this short and brief because I don't have a whole lot of battery and it's fucking cold. Quick preface. I don't think I have the experience to really make a full uh, video on how to wheelie or anything like that. I'm still pretty new. But... I can somewhat talk about the clutch up. Because I'm really tired of seeing sport bike riders on Instagram just power wheelie their R1 on the highway. It's annoying. Clutch up, very simple, but very important. It's all about timing, okay? I think most of you understand the concept. Pull clutch in, give gas. Let clutch out. And it'll just come. It'll just pop right up. It'll be nice. Instead of just gassing it, okay, because the problem with that is you're going to gain a lot of speed. You're not going to be able to get it up high quickly. A clutch up, you have a little bit more control. You can do slower speed stuff, which is generally safer. If you fall at 10 miles an hour, it's a lot better than falling at 40 or 70. Okay, all it is is when I'm, I pull my clutch in, give it a little bit of gas, and let it go. Okay, you can kind of, depending on your bike, you can kind of pull with the bike too, but it, I mean, it's just that timing. You'll, you'll need to practice it. You won't get it right at first, but once you do, it makes things a lot easier when you're learning how to wheelie. So again, I'm going nice and nice and slow, five, 10 miles an hour. Give gas, pop. And then I'm chilling, right? So again, nice and slow. You wanna keep it slow. Pop up, chilling. It's the timing. It's the timing that fucks me up. It's the timing that fucks everybody up. And I really don't have a good way of explaining how to do it. This is a very on the fly video. I'm freezing cold, but obviously one thing you really need is your foot brake. Okay, just practice just up and down. Okay, at first you'll suck. You'll get it, you know, an inch or two off the ground, but then you'll be able to get to that level where you're really using your foot brake. Okay, but once it comes up, whenever you start to feel uncomfortable, just tap your brake, bring it down. Cut your gas, whatever you gotta do, but use that brake so that you build that muscle memory while you're working on the height. Okay, the height is more important than the distance. That's something I am still learning because I'm slow and autistic. See, not high enough. I can catch that balance point. Timing was off, right? All these things. Till you get it, right there. Right there. And shit, I mean, it's even a little bit further back, but you get a rough idea of where you should be. One thing that you can do too, especially if you're on a smaller bike, start from a stop. You know, just put a foot down, put this foot down, keep your foot on your brake ready to go. Okay, it's just gas and then dump. You don't want to hold it there for a long time. You don't want to be sitting and then dump it. It's just whoom, like you do it one fluid motion. So when your gas comes on, you start to let off that clutch a little bit. It's not just a straight dump. You want to be kind of smooth with it, which is hard to, hard to, explain but see nice and smooth and then you come down okay whereas if I just sit here and I just you know gas it it'll come up a little bit but it's scary dude it's hard to do that well you know if you got a really powerful bike you can rely on the bike's power but you don't want to if you don't have to why would you do that? You're putting yourself in, in more danger than you need to be in. Start small. You know, you're right here. You give it a little bit of gas. It'll come up a little bit, right? And then you slow it down a little bit more. 
give it a little bit more you'll get it higher right and then just bring it down just tap that brake whenever you're uncomfortable and you'll learn to go a little bit further back each time I'm, fe I'm feeling good. You look like you're coming up like a really smooth and then you're maintaining it and your drops look cleaner and cleaner. I'm, I'm working on it. That that 3K idle is helping a lot. Oh, is the idle that's helping? Yeah. That scares and I'm going I'm going slower too when I'm popping it up. Or at least I'm trying to. Yeah. Especially especially coming back this way, like just just start it when it's like just barely going and, and it's so smooth. It's also super fucking windy, so I'm getting pushed around like a child. Yeah, dude, I bet you're having a hard time on that thing. Especially going going that way. I don't know how you're keeping stable. I can't even keep this thing stable. Yeah. Those burnouts are coming along. I know, dude. I need to grow a set of nuts and just commit because I want to go faster and lean over harder. Yeah. And every time I do, it's like... Well, it's hard because that thing's so tall. Yeah. It's harder to lean it over. Well, you can try to lean off, but you'll see, bro. It's like... I gotta man up, it's all. Pro tip, when you uh, when you take a break, take the gloves, tuck them somewhere around your engine, warm them up, especially if it's cold. If it's warm outside, then don't do that, but bro got to get on that foot brake. That scares me. But yeah, when you're learning, totally do some shit like that where you just... You got this foot, foot planted, you got your rear brake going, and you just pop it up a little bit, right? Nice and slow. Then you start rolling a little bit, makes you more comfortable, whatever. Easy. Gotta figure this thing out. I feel like a fucking dork. How the hell he wheeled this thing? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's figure this out. Is that a fucking cop? Uh. getting kicked out no, no, no. oh cool <laughs> cool appreciate it have a good one yeah i'm trying to get it i was watching you do it i was like how the fuck oh he didn't get a call or nothing no, he just said he's doing his report he doesn't report over there normally oh so he heard us oh I yeah, I was like just trying to rip it up and feel where it like where it needs enough. I mean, your body position is way more important, right? Like your body position is way more important, right? Because you you gotta like pull it. Yeah. Yeah. His front brake is super low too. Yeah. This is fun! <laughs> a little bit! I'm trying to figure it out! It's fun though, dude! You gotta yank it back! Easier! Yeah! Yeah! You gotta like. Okay! Yeah, I was just sitting there like trying to figure out where it'll. 
where it'll go because I for the first time I tried it I wheeled it like that thing and I was like oh it's not going anywhere <laughs> yeah it's got no balls so you have to fucking I always tell everyone I'm like dude 10k and just pop it yeah it's like, that's basically what you gotta do yeah this depends on how fast you're going whether you do this big or fucking flip it cool oh there we go okay So again, stop. I got my I got my foot brake ready to go. Clutch in this foot down. And when I go in to, to bring it up, keep in mind I'm still trying to figure it out. But when I go in to bring it up, I'm gassing and then a smooth dump. You don't just wanna like just let it out so that it stalls. And then on a bike like this, you gotta you gotta really lean it back. I I, I guess. Maybe I'm not leaning it back enough. That's probably the deal here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. That's way better than trying to just dump like all your fucking throttle into it. What? You gotta get the RPM high on these fuckers. High? Like red line high? Not red line high. Like mine, I'll get it to like six and seven. Six and seven? I haven't really willied this bike, but. You can tell when he does it with no with stock exhaust. He gets the RPMs pretty high. Yeah, he was saying just go for like 10K and dump it. I, would I mean, try like five or six and cool. see where you get there. Yeah. But it, once you get balance points, it's, it's easy once you get there. Yeah. You get there. Yeah. All right. I just ran a little higher, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. A little bit better. And again, like on a bike like this, it's almost harder to get it up than it is to is to loop it, I would imagine. Woo! Oh! <laughs> I'm all good, I'm worried about your bike. I don't wanna fuck up your shit, man. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't let people ride it if I didn't think it fucking think it's a plastic. Oh, it's plastic? Cool. Hold this open? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> I looped that bitch. <laughs> I'm fine, yeah. I was more worried about the bike. I felt bad. Yeah. Now I know where balance point is, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again and not fuck my boy's shit up. Okay. So that's what happens when you <laughs> when you do your clutch up and you're not